Hello, this is Joyce, not a spring chick chow, and today, yes, you're joining us for cooking with not a spring chick, and today we're going to be making omelets in the microwave. I know, for some of you, you're used to making, I, well, actually, you're used to making omelets on the stove, but we found something that makes it really, really easy. Okay, remember those things that they find only on TV, and we got one of these, and we're like, do these work or not work? We picked it up at the 99 cent store. So we went about testing it. Now you can use one of these, which do make it really, really easy. Or of course, you can just go ahead and put it on a plate. We're gonna show you how to do it in this, because we'll find out just how easy it is. Well, because we, we shop green also. We pick up little gadgets and stuff at virtually no price. Mm -hmm. we, have a, we have a pasta maker that costs us next to nothing. We have mm -hmm. a lot of things around there, you know, buck two dollars that basically really work well if you're gonna do green cooking. Yes, and so what we're cooking with today when we're creating this omelet are things that happen to be in the refrigerator, getting kind of towards the end of it, you know, it's kind of like you need to get rid of food. So now's the time to bring it up. So the first thing we have here are onions. Yes, and part of the reason we got the cheese there because somebody ruined the cheese by putting it in with the onion, mm. which means it's not good for anything else. Now. Don't mix anything with onions in the refrigerator. I know, especially in the same Ziploc bag. Yep. Now, part of it is I'm looking at this. If you want your onions more cooked, because a lot of times onions is more of a preference thing, is if you want them cooked a, a little softer, then cook the onions first before you put them in. It's and you can use the same same thing to cook the onions in first. Mm -hmm. People don't seem that's a what helps to make it green is the fact that you can do all your preliminary cooking there, then put your eggs in. Mm -hmm. Well, here's one of the things I will tell you also on onions is if you are planning on going somewhere else where, well, let's just say you may be a little bit more concerned about your breath and how close you get to people, you may want to cook the onions a little more. If yeah, you know, onions will do. Uh, you know, the more mm -hmm. the onion is caramelized. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is that we're using um, the microwave to cook with because the microwave is considerably uh, less messy than the stove to work this off of. It is. And what I want to do is just put it in the microwave for just a little bit beforehand, just to caramelize a little bit. Maybe what, about 30 seconds? Going you know, high, yeah. Yeah. It makes it just a little bit tender. The other way, it's a little more crunchy. Yeah. But we have no, if you, if you do it, most omelets are cooked uh, to taste for people. You tell them how you want it done, and then they'll cook them that way. And I, I always love omelet bars. Yeah. And oh, yeah, because we actually, we went to an event from um, 3M, and they actually were made, they made the omelets out there for you at the, at the hotel we were at. I love all the bars. So, and of course, a little bit of cheese. Now, this make, does make a difference. If you get the cheese, it's already done. It's already shredded. If you buy shreds, they don't melt. Well, a shred. You have to buy real cheese. You have to buy real cheese shreds because a lot of shreds you get are made from oil, and they you, they don't they don't melt. They just look. The no, same. you can't melt them. I mean, they'll be there next year. They're like a piece of rubber. Oh, look, at, you can see how warm that is, a little bit brown. As you can even see it, right? And they will brown on you. People understand that you can. Yeah, you saw, this was in the microwave. There is a little bit of brown. Yeah. Oh, actually, that worked out better than I thought even. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes they do. <laughs> so, and eggs, of course, we're making omelets. This, of course, is to your liking, how many omelets you like to make. Um, most people, I would say, you know, they do the omelet with two eggs, three eggs. Yeah, because this is designed for uh, one big omelet is what this is. Usually, I know. I know. I'm a, well, you say do it on the edge of a cup. Let's see. Well, just oh, use wow. the edge of the, of the cutting board will do the same thing. Okay, if I do the edge of the cutting board, of course, then use, I have to be more careful. Just crack it. See? But it's the extra liquid that goes. I know she plays, sometimes she plays super person. See, that's all there is to it. 
I've been, I, you know, I, my, because I grew up in a rest, my family was in a restaurant industry. I crack eggs, not even thinking about it. You're used to cracking eggs all over the we place. We also have a nice little gadget for doing that sort of stuff too, an egg cracker, which people really would. Actually, do. they do work well. Yeah, it cuts it right, that breaks it right square in the middle and dumps it all out. Actually, it will separate the yolk from the, um. Oh, and it's really nice because you can sit there and scramble the egg, the yeah. eggs in there. Okay, so this is really simple. Depending on how you like your eggs, what I usually like to do, actually you can scramble them in here. Yeah. You want a little scramble. Because it's actually more or less what um, a, a, a omelet is, is scrambled eggs with stuff in it. And you don't have to do anything more than that to scramble your eggs, folks. You don't need a whisk. You don't need an extra thing to do it in. Yeah, you're noticing how many dishes we're not using. That's, That's the key to green cooking is... Yeah, you're stuck sometimes on some things like the shredding of the cheese. That's a device you have to have separate. Unless you buy the shreds already done. And, and then, as we've warned you, don't buy the things unless they're made from real milk. And the reason why you package these things up is because they're cheap and they're made from oil. You saw me just drop it all in here. Oh, and be very careful when you're the microwave, otherwise you're going to spill it. Yeah, no, this fight. So. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put it in. I like to put it in for one minute. Yeah. And then comes the piece after that. Uh, you, um, you, you, because it is a double sided thing, you actually can. If you can it's flip not, it over. You can flip it over in it and put the other side a little bit more. That's true. Usually I just sit there and, and stir it. Actually, we'll try it this time. Yeah. Just flip it over. Yeah. Flip it, you flip it over and then anything that has to be done. Stirring is a real good, it's a real simple way because, well, she's seen me, I make I make scrambled eggs in a, in coffee cups. Oh, that's true. And well, my scrambled eggs. I also egg, like to make them sunny side up in the omelet. I also, oh, you can make, you can cook your eggs sunny side up in that thing too, which is really amazing. I can, I have um, actually done sausage. And the sausage and sunny side eggs up at the same time in the thing. But that's a, a pre-cooked sausage because if it's not, if it is not pre-cooked, don't ever put it in anything plastic, it'll burn a hole through it. So. I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. Yeah, because it's almost done. Okay, I'm going to flip it over for... Let me actually see it. Well, yeah, no, you flip it over, and that's just all you have to do. That's a simple, uh, the really simple part in the thing is just flip it over. I think we need it at least for like 45 seconds. Yeah. Now, on that omelet maker, if you do it a little bit too long, it just gets a little drier. Yeah. It's all about timing, but you can, if you, if you pay attention to what you're doing, you can cook omelets in a microwave. We do it all the time. So, makes it really easy. And you see, okay, I didn't use this, this was from something no. else. So basically, if you've got your onions already chopped, you don't need to chop them. Yeah. So, and I use this, or if you've got shreds, you don't need to shred them, but I use shredded the so cheese. So what we have is green cooking is using what you have available and not going out to buy stuff. Uh, because like I, I heard the telltale sign of it finishing. I know, you can take a look, oh, there it yep. goes. See, I know, I could, isn't that amazing? I heard it finishing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah. About next look it over. Voila. Yeah, that's look an omelet. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is an omelet. Look at it, folks. That's just about as perfect as you're going to oh. get one. Picture perfect. Look at that. That, look, that looks totally beautiful. I feel like we just sit there so much information. That's okay. We'll just have to make another one. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sitting here looking at this. Uh, we oh. can have the camera and zoom in can you see it? and then turn it oh god I'm sorry I'm looking on the monitor it looks, like, it looks like it's perfect that is beautiful look at that boy somebody can cook I know did you see how easy that almost was that looks absolutely gorgeous and you actually can do it virtually the similar manner on top of a plate you just have to flip the half of the um, mm -hmm. the egg over and that's all there is to it now on here I like to have salsa on there if you want it cold. I kind of like that heat, the hot and the cold a little bit. It just gives it a little bit of flavor. Either that or pepper. And actually, you know, if you want it warm, you just put it in the oven for about another 
uh, 15, 20 yeah. seconds with the lid on it and it will warm it all up. So, mm -hmm. or it's cold, whichever way you want it. I don't know. So she's got to, oh, look at that. Like that this. is fluffy. Oh, look at this. Look how fluffy that is. You can see it right there. I know, that's, that's a perfect omelet. I know. And the dish cost us, it, it was a pickup at the 99 cent store. Well, and here's a great part about being green on this, is you can eat it right out of the container. Yeah. Which means, okay, if you have, basically, for some of you that are going to work for lunch, right, yeah. or, or the kids can do this at home, if you've got the cheese and the onions already done, right, all they need is this and the eggs. Yeah. And they just throw the other stuff up because I know there's a lot of people that cut up all their stuff, put them in little containers, and keep them in their refrigerator. Yeah, you can do it this well, quick. Look at that! Look, look at that! It's just totally un it's magnificent mm. looking. I mm. mean, mm. to be honest, that's probably the best one we've done yet. Because I donned, I mean, we can instead of stirring it, we can just flip it. Mm. And the flipping, I think, is what finished mm -hmm. it off. Mm -hmm. So. Absolutely magnificent omelets in the microwave. Total cooking time, we're looking at under two minutes. Mm. Real quick and easy. I'll see you two can make omelets in the microwave just that quick. So for now, bon appetit. Enjoy.